Hello, BB Gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Wormer, and this is my second ever playthrough of Detroit Become Human. The first playthrough in the description below. This is going to be an aggressive route. This is going to be a mean route. You? A bad decisions route. Jesus. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. It's so weird seeing them now after all this time. Uh... How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The way she says still in working order as well. North, you're gonna love us this playthrough. Many, right? <laughs> you're gonna think we're, we're amazing. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Before we go any further, I do want to say that I know I have been missing a few secrets, and like some people have been like, oh, you just have to do this and this and that. Um, I recorded episodes in advance, so I'm sorry I didn't see some of your comments. Like some people said, like the motel is not as different as the house. Um, we like it, it's 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 those issues where I'm like, I just wanted to try out the motel. I do apologize for that because I do want to make this playthrough as different as possible, but I do have seen the other comments of people being like, hey, if you do this thing differently, it will change some things, which I did ask for. So I thank you for that. And hiding just to stay alive. We said this last time. I don't know. I I, I, I forgot we said this last time. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. This is Jericho? I think you kind of have to say so. We have to say more than one thing for sure. Slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now yeah is deal that's the thing this is, this is not something that they've, they've they've begged for you know they they've wanted you're safe here you can stay with us as long as you want go and see Lucy she might be able to help you so Lucy is the character that like I actually think has one of the best designs in this game looks incredible just has an unbelievably cool design so here's the thing that now, like, obviously, like, the last time we played this game, let's take a look at the flowchart, first of all. After, the last time we played this game, we did everything. There's nothing else we could do here in this game. We, we literally did everything in this place, so that's fine. Um, but I do want to talk, like, maybe talk to North a little bit, um, because I feel like this time around, we're going to agree with North quite a bit. Or she's going to agree with our character, anyway, is probably the best way to put it. Which is kind of funny, isn't it? But again, like, I like seeing these changes. And one of the changes we're doing, obviously, we're going to surrender instead of playing dead. I didn't realize surrender was the way you could, you can actually do that. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, another way you can do it as well, uh, that we're going to be doing changes. Of course, we're going to be taking a very aggressive route. We're going to be fighting people. We're going to be trying to hurt people with Marcus. We're not going to care about the humans at all. Um, also, with Connor, we're doing exactly what we did last time. That was actually absolutely painful. Which is, and it was sad, man. It was freaking sad. I hated it. <laughs> like getting a slap from him hurt badly. It hurt so badly. Honestly, is this where she is? Yeah, this is where, um, yeah. Such a cool design. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. This is such a cool moment as well. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. It's so weird, like, again, like, it almost like, like, 
like she was like passing the torch to him as well as she saw something in Marcus. And we could see it from the second that we saw, like this was a figure that felt like almost like a, um, like a deity that was ready to almost become like a disciple. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Wow. Yeah, and again, like how she was able to see this too. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. So true as well. The music is really good to here too. The music is so good. It kind of reminds me of like, like Batman almost, if that makes sense. We have to talk to you, explore Jericho. Talk to we again. North is North is gonna think we're the coolest person ever this time. Like I imagine the game made made us kiss her when we she was like, uh, you know, when we barely we barely agree with her. Imagine what they're gonna do now. <laughs> She's gonna kiss us every two minutes. <laughs> Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. And by the way, can I say as well, I made the joke about like, oh, North is going to kiss us. Obviously, I think some people are, are like the idea of the kiss as well. And that's full, totally fair. I think just from my perspective, it, was, it just felt a little bit forced. But um, one thing I will say, though, is I probably might have a different perspective this time around. I just think it's funny. Like, you know, like how even in the end, they like made us do the kiss anyway. The other thing I would say about this is... Um, I think I, I think so much conversation in my playthrough sometimes surrounds the fact that like oh I, I we're a lover of North I don't really want to be a lover of North, but I do see all three of these people Simon Josh North as friends like I adore them like as friends I think that they have they have a value of life just like everyone else. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days. She knows the exact time as well. I hope that makes sense. You know what I mean? When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. What was your function before coming here? She did. Yeah. Now we. Now when I think about it, like we sh probably shouldn't ask that question. It was. It's a horrible question because well, we didn't know. But like knowing her past now, you can understand why she was resentful towards us. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. You know what I mean? It's not a nice thing that happened to her in her past. And we've talked about that already. So, oh yeah, we can check all this stuff over here, yeah. Almost forgot. So this is where all the containers would have been for stuff. So we know exactly where they would be as well, yeah. I kind of missed this the first time around that he like calculated like a uh, a whole route of this as well. He was like, I know the route. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get no, we fight. Killed, we fight. Maybe. But it's better Aggressive route. To be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try.
So there we have another plan for right. Yeah, so everything pretty much goes the same there. Man, this is Latko. Oh my god. Are you okay? We'll get some help. So how are we going to change things? I, I don't know what, like, if we can look at maybe the flow chart here. Like, how are things going to ch change here compared to what they were? So you see, escape before being reset. We're going to do that anyway. Because it seems like reset here is a... Unless we want to be reset. Because there's other avenues as well. Read Arctic Tensions. Kill or spare. We, we're going to kill the android this time. Because <laughs> um, they know they told us. Should we get deactivated to see a different route? I wonder. Because that's that sounds pretty horrible. Like, I wonder, like... We'll, 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 we'll cross the bridge when we get there. We'll cross the bridge when we get there. We'll cross the bridge when we get there. We obviously, like, don't want to die either. That's the thing. We do want to see the other endings of this game. Um, we can always reload if it does kill us off completely, like, you know what I mean? So we might try, try get our memories erased. This guy's so sleazy from the second we meet him, by the way. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Yeah, she gets her. She gets she Come in. Yeah, I I was I was suspect something too. Shy. I'm just worried. I'm I'm worried about like if we let Luther, ourselves become a race, if we can even get our memory school. back, you know. Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther's the best. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big empty old house. So just come back. He's so horrible. Please. We look so different from what we were in last Make time. Remember, we were in like the, the full get up and all. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Man, look, even this, like, the way he acts is so, like, skin crawling, even now. This is the, this is the telltale hey, sign for me. It's coming up now. What about her? She's human. Look at this, look at this, this. This, when two people are concerned... And you want to find a safe place? When two people come to you, like, out of the rain, concerned for so their lives, I would never, like, stretch back and go, So... <laughs> you know what I mean? I from it's this point on, I was like, okay. <laughs> Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's that's exactly what we want. Of course, I can help you, but first we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. 
All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. Okay. No, she always stays with me. Not happening? Of course. Okay, okay, we're, I think we're gonna let the memories get erased just to see what has happened because I feel like that like it seems like it could happen very easily So I'm wondering if like there's a way out of it from there. We'll see We'll see what happens I don't like this place. Yeah, it sucks. Home. Yeah, I, Let's go. I have a bad feeling uh, We'll be careful. Yeah, I'm gonna say that I said the last time as well because it's true He's awful we have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machine. Discreet for your machines. The what a freak. Illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. Alice, what, what do you think? Such a freak. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. Derogatory freak as no, well. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. There must be way, this like, way. like... Unless, like, it is, like, just, like, a thing where, like, your memories get erased completely, because, like, that's what happened with, um... Connor, right? If you remember. If you could just She's like, well, he's like, well, you're eager. <laughs> I've seen this before. Huh? I've seen this before. What do you mean you've seen this before? I've seen it, but you're gonna erase my memories. I should warn you. This could be quite unpleasant. Yeah, this is this is like I knew he was bad. Now I know Luther's a good dude. I'm like, you know. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to yeah, find. Yeah, and I suspected this too. You're a so, weirdo. Actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so nice. You know what's so, so funny? If anyone, like any police officer They'll came in here, they'd be freaked out, but they couldn't do anything. They literally couldn't do a thing. Can I just reset them? Sell them on? Uh, they did such, such a good job of showing nerves on his face and even like I kind of want to take a look at Luther during this too Because we know he already is on our side or like thinks this guy's a weirdo too Like there that was more gentle than it was before Did he know it was an android here as well when he said lock it up that she was an android A deviant that wants to be a mother That's that's so sweet like his words would so be more rooted. put into perspective here than before. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let it reset. Oh, I don't know what that. Was. I hope it's not a, like it's not. It, I don't think it will be an end slate. I don't think it will be. That's what you get for having a dream. Shut your mouth. It always ends up I said the same thing last time. Dudes like this. I don't know if I said the same thing last time, but dudes like this. Believe me. You're better off being erased and feeling nothing. But I was thinking it the last time. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Villains who do that thing where it's like, I'm helping you, man. <laughs> Aw, our girl. Oh, poor little Alice. Shut up. Looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Like this is just what like he's disgusting. He's disgusting. Oh, you piece of piece of garbage. Piece of absolute garbage. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Oh, Hollis. And she's such a good voice actor as well. This here. Meet me in the living room. So you have to go to the living room then. Oh, maybe that's what... Because we didn't get to go to the living room last time. Maybe we have to go to the living room this time. Um, one of the interesting things that I find 
about that conversation is that it's changed completely in my perspective. I think he probably knew that this was, this was a model of an android, this little girl, because he probably knows more about androids than a lot of people do. Uh, not only that, um, people like him, villains like him are the worst because they're the ones who are like, hey, I've set you free from mediocrity. You'll never have to feel pain again. It's like, dude, just not your choice. Okay, let's take a look at this and be sad. I don't- I'm not feeling good about it. Like, this- like, purposely doing things bad is against our nature, but like, not that it's bad, I think a lot of people have done this in the past, like, where they had this ending. Because they couldn't find out what to do. Let's pull the wire. Let's pull the wire. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god, we're back to being like just like Meet Luther in the living rooms. This is yeah, it's completely different. Do we set these guys free still? Oh, so there's still parts of it in our head. Of course, they're, like it's still trying to get through. We knew meet Luther in the living room. Help us. Yeah, you can come out. But I think we go right in, don't we, for some reason. And they know that too. No. This can't be happening. And they're showing genuine concern for us as well. For her sake. He likes to play with us. This is so sick. Like the changes here. Creating monsters. For his amusing. But who's the real monster? Him. Look what he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. So they're telling us we have to. So I guess meeting Luther in the in the living room is the, is the goal. Yeah, there's no way I could leave those guys there though. Okay, let's just let's go. We have to change the angle again. The last thing I want is obviously for Alice to be hurt. So we're gonna try and make our decisions very selfishly, but at the same time, try not to make sure Alice is safe. I could not live with myself if Alice was hurt. So meet Luther and deliver. So he's probably calmer now because he knows he succeeded in this. Last time he was up upstairs. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. What? Yes, Luther. What? This is so different. What do you mean? Where's the dinner? This is so different. Luther, are you serious? Is this what's happening though? What is that? Do you want to find a safe place? Wait, we have to be looking at things as we're going by. Somewhere you can start a new life. My name is Kara. Is there anything else we can look at? Maybe the mirror outside. This is this is so cool. Like it's it's scary, but it's it's You know, it's terrifying. 
Let me cut our hair in the mirror. This is so good. We're still. Are we still remembering some stuff? My name is Kara. We can't go back down here. I'm worried that that looking into the there would have been a, a change in something. Our jackets, our coats, maybe. No. Oh, maybe. It is. It is. Yes. Yes. Make yourselves at home. Maybe the door then? Because we came through the door? This is such an interesting way of doing this. My name is Kara. We're getting there. That has to be one as well because we came through the door. I'm just trying to retrace our steps at this point. No? Okay. What is he having for dinner? Chips? Crisps? Crisps? Uh, crisps? D an apple, I guess, was there. I hope if not we like I will reload if if we if we're in a fail state where we we become like just like a, a obedient car for the rest of the game because like obviously like we don't want that we want to see the other choices I have no problem reloading um if we have to you know what I mean wait are those shotgun shells though or are they something else or no they are they like yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see. Should we try to go to Alice first and see if that brings back our memory? No, we have to bring the food this time. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. He's just so calm with us as well. What table are you talking about, sir? Oh, that over there? Okay. You freak. Do what? This is your dinner? I mean, not judging, but. Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. Fuck off, Fucking whore walked out on me. Oh my god. We're remembering Alice. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. Yes, Lanko. Yes, Lanko. Food bra, bring carcass next door. <laughs> This is so bad. This is so bad. Luther! 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 Yes, Lanko. It should be done here in 10 minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Lanko. This is I'll so much. In 10 minutes. So, time remaining 10 minutes. There must be other things that I'm like, well, meeting her would probably be the biggest jog to our memory ever, right? Who is the little girl? Go find her. Right? That's probably the best option. RA9. Oh, this I, I hate what he does with their faces. Look, they like become like these 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 prickly things. It's so weird what he does with them. So I kinda remember where Alice is. But we're gonna set free this polar bear. If we if we're allowed. I wonder if our like our our um brain will let us. Now, will he attack us because he thinks we're like a... No, I don't think he will. Okay, 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 okay. That was terrifying for a second there. Because I thought maybe, like, it would change. So, check out this. <gasps> like, he, like, in the house. So this seems yeah, they did say it was an epidemic. My name is Kara. We remember. Alice. Oh, that's so good. Let's go get Alice. That's such a cool way of doing things. Bro, you're dead. Bro, you're dead. You caught you you told me to you you, you called me out last time. Oh, we also be the master. What are you doing? What are you doing? They're not gonna hurt oh, me. it kind of feels bad, but like he's think he's going to try and call us out, and we are going selfish route this time. Uh, you gotta be shut down, brother. Oh Jesus Christ! Does this change something else though? 
I mean, what it changes is we just shut down one of our fellow androids. It's a big deal. It's a massive deal. You know what I mean? That's like a... A change in everything. Oh, there's Luther. If you remember, he was like, everything's cool, I'm okay with this, whatever. Is it, Was this... Did we have to go here last time? I remember like this was just so we can get the layout of the land, right? I'm, I'm so impressed the way everything's changed here. Uh, we can look at the shotgun. Do we know? We know where there's bullets, though, right? There, where they, 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 they. So if we go back and get the bullets on the table downstairs, where are they bullets? It looked like a shotgun bullet container. But we know we can escape without those bullets. We know we can. Fire. Why? Oh wait, is it, is it just like, hey, if we need it, we, we, we should pick it up? Is that what we're saying? No, I, I'm okay. <laughs> we got like 10 minutes here. This is makes for a much more tense experience as well, doesn't it? Getting caught. And then having to like re realize who you are as a person, realize who Alice is. And it also like almost speaks more to the humanity of their androids than before. Oh, she's so scared. Car, you remember me? Of course. How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Okay, come on, come on, Alice. Come on. Through here. Through here. What happens if you take the log? Not go. What? The little one is gone. Set a f set fire. Okay. Well, we never did this before, right? Gotta be here somewhere. What does this do, though? Well, it sets a fire. Well, that's... <laughs> There's smoke everywhere. Luther! There's a fucking fire! Luther! Did this work out, though? Because he might just... Because last time he hid. Okay, we'll get ready with the buttons. So it's still kind of similar. The fire maybe prevents you from, like... Uh, back door worked last time. Let's just go what works for now. I don't know what the front door would do for us. If it's something completely different, then then I I'll, I, I regret not doing it. But like really, I just feel like this whole thing was different so far. A lot. Well, we could probably check the the flow chart actually. Excuse me for the sniffles, guys. Free the monsters. Set fire to the house, go through the corridor, go to the sneak through the back room. So we didn't even see the bear get attacking anyone yet. Because we did, we just avoided all that. We literally avoided all this. Zlako catches up. So there's two other ways. If the monsters don't attack, then something else happens. This is so sick still. Look at this. I warned you. Dreams always How different of an experience in terms of tension and like, you know, how scary things were this time around because we had to get our memories back. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. Oh, 
Look at this as well, it's still so cool. Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Little did we know he's going to become our best friend for life. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the yeah. first time. Finally, I could see. And now the house is on fire as well. Now it like it hits even more knowing all the, there's a polar bear. Best bud. Also, because he didn't even attack him, so he's living as well. The polar bear's just been living his life. <laughs> what a crazy ending. We set the house on fire and everything. That was really cool seeing the differences there. That was super cool. I want to see how many people set the house on fire. Uh, 17%. How many of my friends did? 14%. Okay. That's interesting. So some changes there as well. Oh, when's oh we're we're back with a mana, but it's raining this time. We have an umbrella anyway. Um, yeah, th like I I honestly like you know I knew there was gonna be differences from you guys saying it, but it's really cool to check out these differences anyway. We ain't even gonna be using this failsafe this time. We're gonna be um the most obedient boys you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, no, like I said, it puts Slatko's where they talked about Kara maybe into like a different perspective. And maybe it's just because he, he says leave it because he doesn't see humans as, as important either. But I think he knew when he was like, and the girl, and we were like, she's you. And he's like, right. I think he knows. He would know what different models are. He probably does a lot of research on that stuff, especially if he's like pulling them apart and putting them back together in weird ways. Because why would he have to attend to the little girl? You know what I mean? I say he didn't see any use for the little girl as like a, a slave, possibly. Or maybe he was going to erase her memories next. Where about is Amanda this time around? She's there. Okay. I forgot this wasn't the boat trip. The boat trip's later on. Amanda's going to be like, man, you're, you're the best. <laughs> what a king. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Always, I guess. <laughs> I like walks. Congratulations, Connor. Oh. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Uh, we learned that... Uh... The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, we're just we're just doing narc obsessed with RA9. What else? We didn't get the other thing, but I found its diary. But it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. We did. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. Wait, there's, there's a possible way to not have it self-destruct? How can you... Uh... Hesitated... Last words. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. 
How is your relationship? Man, I, I didn't know you could even save the, the machine as well. Negative, ambitious, positive. Let's go ambitious. It's improving. Not really. It, I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing. No, he's not. He purpose. slapped us in the face. He slapped me good. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate. Is this the Eden Club? I have a feeling this could be the Eden Club situation. Yeah. This is actually one of the funniest moments as well in this game. And we're also going to be have to be stern with, with, with Hank as well. It feels so bad because Hank is the best part of this game. Again, if you are watching this playthrough as a first playthrough, please do not. <laughs> this is not my first playthrough. This is me uh, being the worst person ever. I am I am legitimately trying my best, nice car, to make decisions I would never make. Beautiful um, fixed camera angles here. That's what the intention is here. There's Subo. There's Subo. Hank is unconscious. Drunk as a skunk. Lieutenant Anderson. The Eden Club's gonna be very important because that's like a, that's a big uh, decision for us as well. Apparently, the big moment. Oh man. Easy. Sumo, I'm your friend. <laughs> See? See, so you knew his name. I'm here to save your owner. So if we didn't learn his name, I wonder if Sumo would have attacked us. Hanky Doodle, you're gonna get up. Hanky Doodle. I can't wait for the eating club because like we know exactly what we have to do now. Now not exactly. Like I might pick the wrong robot once or twice, but we know that we can look at vantage points now and things will actually be easier as well because we're on an easier difficulty. So there is that too. So he is drunk. Lieutenant. This is so funny. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. This is a way different energy I'm now. You hey. Knowing that, like, you we're not friends. You know what I mean? When we were doing it the first time, it was sweet. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now it's, like, you. painful. You know what I mean? It doesn't Thank feel you good. for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut I... up! Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> Sumo. You know what I mean? Like, it feels different now that we're like... Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Bro. That's the worst, man. No, hangover, that's one of the reasons why, like, not, well, it was a small reason. It was a major reason why I wanted to quit uh, drinking forever. But the hangovers are so horrible. And they're not worth it. Like, sometimes they're worth it. But they're not worth it. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. <sighs> and he just did, like, yeah, he just does this too. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Shit. 
Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. Yep, pretty much at this stage. He's assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, rational aggress aggression route. If you're unable to conduct this investigation, I'll have to oh. inform your superiors. Go ahead, tell them I don't oh, give a shit. Oh, God. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of this here. Is, this should be called the Calvin Pain route. I am experiencing pain constantly. Tease. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get <laughs> There's some clothes in there. That is the better option. <laughs> I'll go get them. Wait till he finds out it's an android uh, sex club. So last what time we picked striped, right? The striped shirt. Uh, we know we picked streaky. So let's choose hippie this time. Man, that is a sick shirt, though. That is a really nice shirt. Oh, he's at the toilet. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Oh my god, five minutes would not be what I would need with this. I was the type of guy that needed like seven hours. Official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic... I legit remember one particular time, this was years ago, uh, that like... After after a Saturday, we'd all go down to a pub again, but this time we'd get, we'd be more casual. We'd get like tea or something or something like that. Some guys would, would get the would drink, you know, some of the, the crew would get some drink as well. Um, we'd get some, you know, just to, just to, you know, have a casual chat after the day. And the hilarious thing about it that day was I remember... Oh, I don't... Questioners say not, and I don't... It's a different choice than last time, so I think we're going to question it. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I can last. Oh, God. And we know there was only one bullet in there, yeah? We, 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 we thought this as well, didn't we, even before we even said it? You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Um, but yeah, I remember like, like literally all day people were like, cause I was like, I'll be down in a minute. And I kept falling back asleep cause I was so done. That's, and again, like it, there's not like, I don't, I don't have anything against people who drink. You can drink whatever you want. It's just my own decisions, you know? And the hangovers are horrible. They're absolutely devastating. Yeah, so this is one of the saddest things about this game, man. It's one of the reasons why, you know, I, I love, I love Hank so much and I feel so bad being mean to Hank. You know what I mean? It upsets me. Being mean to Hank is worse than like, killing a human in this game. That's actually a nice shirt. It's a really nice shirt. Connor's that smart. That is the prettiest dog. dog. I won't be long. Prettiest dog. Like, if I'm going to get a dog, I'm more of a cat person. If I was going to get a dog, it has to be this big. You know what I mean? It has to be this big. So there's still other things. Oh, yeah. There's still other things I didn't find. Yeah, that's fine. Like, we're more going for the different choices anyway. That's fine. We didn't have pet sumo, which is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Oh, this is the place again. So this time we're going to be doing some some bad things. We're going to be doing some bad things this time. North looks sick. She always has like a really cool outfit on. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow 
Yeah, this is a really sick mission as well. I think that this plays up how good the gameplay can be in this game too. And how you can actually build up the tension with this, uh, with the gameplay. They do a really good job of it. Don't let them see us. We gonna kill everyone in this game. Everyone here is dead. I already know the people we're gonna kill as well. Yeah, North yeah. stops as well. And like, let's like, let's get one thing straight as well. Like, there's nothing wrong with North as well. You know what I mean? I'll find another way. It was never a thing where like, oh, North's icky. She's a beautiful girl, just like the other boys were with Josh and Simon are beautiful boys. Um, just like you know, we're a beautiful boy. But it was just like I always had like a problem with the emotional side of things. You know. All the boys. So, what do you guys do for fun? We're, we're in a mission right now, but uh, okay. But for fun. I don't know. Uh, Lucas, climb up here. Last time we followed north. Where the hell are you going? Marcus. Are we going the wrong way? Sick. You know, we're following Simon. Let's go. Simon time. Detroit becomes Simon. My favorite game, Detroit becomes Simon. It's so sick. That's what I mean. Like, again, it's how, like, I don't care. Like, I came from playing Shenmue. Quick time events are awesome. Anyone who says otherwise, like, I don't know what to say, man. I love quick time events. I think they have such a place in storytelling games as well. Cyber Life Warehouses. They have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Pre construction. We know, I think I remember the pre construction of this. It's here. And then up to here, right? Yeah, here. And then you let it go a bit, and then you do that. Sick. This is this is a real benefit for this. I want to check the flow charts. I know like I will be missing stuff in this, guys. I understand that. But I think we followed Simon this time. Drone blocks path, neutralized drone. Marcus unharmed. Reach cyber life. So this is the important where grab Android and hide. Hold position. Human guard leaves. So this is this is these are the important decisions here for sure. Watch this. Look how cool Marcus is. Watch. Marcus, you're so cool. Thanks, Simon. Marcus, mash. Gotta do it. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Yeah, and like, by the way, can I, I, I keep having to say because I worry that some people, because I think we all agree, we all appreciate North, right? <laughs> we just like, uh, I just also, you know, yeah, I keep saying just because I worry that sometimes people think I, I'm like, ah, she's, she sucks, but. Yeah. And that's not me, by the way, explaining myself either, because I, you know, everyone's allowed to have their own feelings, you know what I mean? I, I'm not being like, hey, please don't like, you know, good, like, you know, because people can be upset if they want. I will stand true to my feelings in this game, and I think that's the best way to go about it always. trespassing on private property no we're not your presence your private property on my trespassing so I will notify understand you. that maybe John! God damn machine God damn machine let's see so we can kill the guard go what are you doing I told you to Josh is hostile towards us? <laughs> oh god. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have Josh is like, this guy sucks. 
<laughs> oh god. I said we were doing everything. We said we're gonna you gonna be killing people. I said we're gonna be doing some horrible stuff. <gasps> this doesn't feel right, does it? I have a headache. I'm like starting to get a headache. It's almost like like you know when like some big thing happens like anxiety wise. We gotta free these guys too. Get people on our side. Josh is downright hostile to us now. I wonder how that's gonna change things. Do yeah, we gotta convert you guys? All the names of Troy bots. Troy bots. Yeah, we're still gonna get get some, you know, some troops. I'm just taking all this as a non-canon playthrough for me, for me as well, by the way, because um, there's no way I'm not friends with Josh or Hank in my real timeline. There's no way it's not happening. North, North's like, this guy's the coolest person ever. <laughs> Josh is resentful towards us. He's not That's hostile anymore, carry. at the very least. That's good. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. No, we'll take it. Took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. I think this is the, this doesn't count as aggression taking us. We need people like him. Yeah. They come with us. Yeah. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Get the key. Wait here. Yeah, we're getting the key. I'm not back in this is a fun mission as well. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. And I'm gonna be killing people anyway. Josh is like, oh, Josh is, Josh is like, F this guy. F this guy so hard. We can't open it from here, obviously. Oh, we can, but... You're talking about, like, being super, you like, super aggressive with these guys. This is the one we need to open to get in. I wonder if you can just shoot... I wonder if we could just shoot these guys. Okay. Goddamn dogs. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Find the key. Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? There's the key. Looks like it. And yeah. Should be done already. Better off in here than out the door. So we know the key is there. This is this is the avenue we're going with. We're taking the gun. We need to talk. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk. Get up. You never thought you'd see me again. We don't know you. You never thought. Hey, 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 good boy. Put the gun over there. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. So, this still probably only incapacitates them, right? Okay, that's fair enough. 
Last time we tackled our we kick, so I wanted to try tackle this time. And this time we ain't gonna fail no mission. Oh god, press the wrong button entirely. Oh god. Okay. Maybe we, I thought we were gonna be able to shoot him, that's why I didn't take a different route there. Because if you look at the flow chart, that's my bad. Because I thought that. Hold on a second. So we attacked and John become John becomes even. Marcus spills blood. Yeah, so threaten guards. So it's a different way of doing things. Threaten guards, so there's like a different way that can go. I might replay aspects of this chapter again. Like if I load this, like where's the last, where, where did it save last? Let's see where it saved last. I feel like that's a good way of doing it. It might have saved at the start of the chapter, but that I don't think it would. I thought we were. I thought they were going to give us the option of somehow to like kill again. Yeah, they might. Okay, let's see. We let's see what we can do differently then. Let's see what we can do differently. Yeah, because I th I thought I thought I thought taking the gun would give give us a different uh, avenue here, but we'll we'll try something different. Because there's no point in just like doing the same thing when we have different options to do something else, you know, and it might be fun as well. It doesn't have to be killing, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be. But I thought we would get the option to, you know? Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. So we know the key is there. Take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling that. Lure the guards outside? That's something we didn't do before, for sure. Look at our hands. We'll try it. Fuck, what was that? The drums fell down. I mean, that's actually more peaceful than I thought. Let's go get this key. Are they not still out here? Or they went back in? They did. Okay, that's a different route. Okay, that's fine. We don't have to kill all the time. Sometimes you have to do some different things. And this time, maybe it'll actually change some things as well. Did you get it? Nice. Cause that's the fun of this, is getting different choices, right? That probably is the most aggressive route we can take. Now it looked like the other things can happen to the guards. So there could be death in other playthroughs. But I'm not sure how you would obtain it then. Maybe like electrocuting them? I think here there are showing looks that North is giving us kind of being like, okay, this this is this is our guy. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm noticing this a lot more, but yeah, it's pretty cool. That so you notice more details. Like we noticed the same thing with the way Zlatko was talking to um, our characters too. What would they let us leave?
Oh yeah, they'll just be like, yeah, like, go ahead. Go on. Get out of here. Skedaddle. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. This right here was the moment I think everyone's like, this is our guy. North is a friend. I came to Jericho because Josh is going back up. Here Simon's a friend, free. good. Roommate. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile. Or love or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. That's so good. What they don't want to give, we take. That's so good. We are people. We are alive. We are free. There we go. Such a, like again, I feel like this this is why they followed him. He's so good with words as well. You can kind of see Simon and Joshua, which is really cool. They're a bit weary. They're like, yeah, we get it. But like also they're kind of looking at us like, please don't go too far, you know? I think it's a nice touch. The blood on our hands. It's interesting. Yeah, it did change. It did change a little bit. I think we now we have like a um. Well, we didn't incapacitate him. We did kill some people. I want to see how many people killed the people I killed. Where are they? Where is it? Marcus. Marcus. Marcus Mordis. Marcus spills blood only twenty seven percent. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's going to do for this episode, guys. And thank you so much for supporting the series. And thank you so much for always uh, watching the series. Um, thank you to all the patrons. And thank you to the Never Comp Repay the Baby Gangsters here on Patreon. Tyfire 2, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Normal Cara, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Fruity, Death Trap, Anusa, Shabbat Bed, and Malcolm Conde. And I'll see you guys very soon.